Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is a pattern video. It's um, This happens to be a heavy finesse jig. It's 3 8 ounce uh, round head jig, weedless. We're going to put the weed guard and a trailer on this one. Um, it's green pumpkin. The light's kind of messed up. It's making it look like watermelon, but it is a green pumpkin jig. Uh, it's got a 3 aught. Uh, heavy wire flat eye hook. It's an Eagle Claw Black Platinum 2706. Uh, the Mustad equivalent would be um, a 32796. So we're going to get started and we're going to use some um, black 210 denier flat wax nylon thread. Danville, of course, as always. This is real simple. Um, like any other the, the pattern, that this is going to be is uh, my muted green pumpkin candy. Uh, I like it for this time of year. Um, we've gone a little while without uh, a lot of rain, believe it or not. And um, we are getting some thunderstorms. So we get some dirty water, but it's clearing. So we have some visibility. But um, So I like to keep the color natural, but I need something to make it stand out and that's where I like the green pumpkin candy natural color with some glitter and this is a muted version so I'm gonna use this is a plain green pumpkin black skirt uh, this plain green pumpkin most green pumpkin will have black like little black flake in it that's just normal um, again I got it from Barlow's tackle the number is um, 787 in a, I think it's solid colors with glitter, 787. And the other color with it is going to be green pumpkin candy. This is number 795 in a, the candy glitter, uh, the candy glitter uh, series of silicone skirt layers they have there. And uh, you can see when you hold them up next to each other, you see that the green pumpkin candy is just a little bit darker than the regular green pumpkin. Uh, I like that. I like having different shades of uh, one color. So, uh, to me, it's more natural. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. It's real simple and easy. I'm taking uh, the plain green pumpkin with the black glitter in it. I'm going to make two wraps. And just work it around it. We get it all the way around. And I'm going to show you, like I said, the trailer and everything that I use with this. And I'll show you how I have it set up. So I'm going to do it. Um, it works really well when you got spook fish or, you know, you're, you're in that. When the water starts clearing here, uh, after it's been dirty for a while, the fish get kind of spooky. So... Uh, this color really works well, which should, I have very little bit left, so I decided to do a video on it. So we're going to make some more wraps. And the next color, which is the last one, is just simple green pumpkin candy. Candy colors work really good. Uh, a lot of people like using them by themselves, but I always mute them using them with uh, a regular uh, color. Tones it down a little bit. You still get the sparkle and all from uh, the glitter, but it's not unnatural. It's not over the top. I think it helps. I think it helps make it stand out. It gives me a little bit more confidence fishing it. And thus, I seem to have success with it. So that's why I do it this way. So now we're going to just finish up making the collar here. I want to make a real heavy collar. I want to make sure I have all my silicone covered up with the thread. Sometimes you get one or two little pieces trapped in there. It ain't going to hurt nothing, but I 
I like to try to avoid that situation if I can. Sometimes I'm in a hurry and it doesn't work out right. Like if I decide I'm going to go fishing or a buddy calls me up and says, hey, I'll pick you up in 20 minutes. Well, and I need something for the body of water we're going to. I'll tie a jig or two up real quick that I might not have or a color I might not have. So now the only thing left to do is whip finish. One, one, two, three, four, six. Push them in off. And Loctite Super Glue brush on. As always, again, use your favorite, uh, whatever you like to use. For me, um, I've used this product so long that it just comfortable. I know how long it takes to set, how well it holds. So now we did that. I'm going to take scissors and I'm going to, what I do is I like to grab this and I just pull a little bit of tension on it and go right above the head that seems to be like the perfect amount and that gives me a little bit over the top here I think it it breaks up the outline of that uh, jig head shape and the same thing with the bottom I'm gonna make it that maybe a half an inch past the hook but it's going to be relatively short so this is what we got so far and I'm going to take a green pumpkin black weed guard and that's what we're going to put in here an FG30 what I would call a regular full-size weed guard. They do make FG40s, which are a little bit bigger. Um, I don't use those. Even though I have uh, a couple jigs that I make that are larger uh, that use that, I still prefer the FG30. I think uh, once you get to this eighth inch diameter, it, it works good for anything. I'm gonna take my super glue gel, and again, um, if I'm not epoxying a weed garden, I'm using the super glue gel. Don't use regular super glue, it will wick up the fibers of the weed guard. So now we have our weed guard in place, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my trailer on. And it's going to be a little different than what you normally would do, but this is, again, this for my waters this will work perfect and what I do is I'm using a green pumpkin black I think they call it just green pumpkin this is a yum chunk and this is the two and three quarter inch size and I'm going to thread it on I'm going to put it right in the center and this hook point is going to go all the way through past the nose of the bait and out and it gets threaded up on and that is what you are left with I believe that's like let me get my forceps here I'm gonna grab it on to the front I don't think it gets much better as a profile. Not too big, not too small. Uh, perfect bulk. I mean, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Mute a green, uh, mute a green pumpkin candy. This is a winner, folks. Give it a shot.